Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to expand on the commission requests section of uh, the opportunities in KW Command. Um, so if you're just now starting to learn about the commissions tab, I would highly suggest watching uh, the basic video on that to teach you how to do that, and I'll put a link to that initial video on commission requests in the details of this YouTube video. All right, so this will kind of be an add-on to that initial video that I have in the YouTube details. All right, so first things first, we will have to have our opportunity created in order to submit a commission request. And if you're not familiar with what the commission request is, all right, essentially that is the new green sheet. So if you use green sheets in my KW, right, that uh, the commission request is the new new term for it in KW command. And what it's used for is uh, typically you'll fill out the commission requ request when you go under contract. And it is letting your office know how you're getting paid on this deal. You know, how much uh, a percentage of commission are you receiving? Are you receiving 3%, 2.5%? 4% even better, right? Are you splitting this commission amongst another um, team member, another agent in your office? Are you paying an outside referral and so on? Okay, and those are items that I'll be touching on in today's class or today's tip video rather. So just the basics for you on how to get in here. So we'll navigate to the opportunity section of KW Command. And so I am in my command account on agent.kw.com. In our opportunities section is the icon that's about halfway down the list on the left hand side looks like a handshake. From here you will see your sales pipelines for your listing, buyers, and leases. And to access your opportunities you can either click on one of these opportunity phases to access the opportunities within each phase or you can also click on all opportunities at the top to get more of a list view of all of your opportunities and be able to search by those. All right, so however, however you would like to uh, grab and access that opportunity, feel free to go ahead and do that. Um, while we're on that topic, you can also access the opportunity from the contact record as well in your command database. All right, so if you go to the contact in your command database, you'll see an option for opportunities on the right-hand side, so you can access it there as well. And of course, feel free to pause the video at any time so you can go explore that as well. All right, so I am going into my opportunity here. And so whenever you access your opportunity, click on the opportunity name. It will take you to the details section here. Now, in order for the commissions tab to become available, so you'll see it's grayed out here. It's grayed out because I do not have an offer submitted. So what you'll need to do is come into the offer section right here and click add new offer to go ahead and add in that offer that came in and accept that. All right, so if, you're, if you would like detailed instructions on that, that would be in my initial video that is in the details of this uh, YouTube video. So if you would like, you know, the basics of the commission requests and, you know, step by step on how to do that, I would recommend watching that video first. So, but to add on to that, so I'm fast forwarding through those steps here and I have my offer added in. And when I initial add my, initially add my offer, I'll do it by clicking here. It will give me the option to accept the offer. And I did that. Right? I clicked accept offer. So now I see the option to change response. All right. Or I can click on these three dots right here to get even more options. All right. But the main thing to know here, now that I have the offer in and accepted, I now have the option to come into the commission request. All right, so a lot of this information, like this general information here, pulls from the information that you put in the offers, right? When you go through and add an offer, it'll prompt you for some info, and that will populate here. If you need to edit anything, so like the contract date, for example, I can simply click Edit General Information, and it'll allow me to edit any of these fields. So I can go ahead and put in the contract date, we'll put it was July 2nd and save those changes. All right, so now I have that contract date added in. And this is where things really get fun. So if I scroll down, the payment info is where there's just a lot of different 
scenarios, right? There's just a lot of different possible situations that go on in real estate. I know I don't need to tell you, all right? So I'm going to try and cover some of those situations and give you details to help you feel like you know what to do when you come across that. All right, so first things first, in this payment option here, you will see the agent's name. Okay, that may be your name, most likely is the first agent. You'll see your agent units, your gross commission, and so forth. Now, if you need to split this transaction with another agent, we would need to click add another agent right here. Now, you may not see that right out the gate. Okay, so if you are not seeing the option to add another agent, I will show you how to get that option to appear. All right, so again, this is uh, the scenario if you are on the same side of the tr transaction as the other agent. So let's say you're co-listing the property, or maybe this is your team member that you're splitting the commission with, okay? What you would do is you would come up to Edit Agent op Payment. So to the right of the agent's name, we'll click Edit Agent Payment. And you have to change the unit number to be able to add another agent, okay? So that unit number, will always equal one, and I'll go into that more, but that's very important. Okay, so it's talking about one unit, it's one transaction, right? It's one home you're selling. So try to think of it that way. So in this case, since I'm splitting it, I need to split the unit. So let's say I'm doing a 50-50 split, right? I'll do 0.5 here, or if it's a 70-30 split, you know, you could do 0.7 or 0.3, and click Calculate Commission, and it will update that on the right-hand side once you click the Calculate Commission option here. So as I scroll down, you'll see the associate, associate royalty, excuse me, company commission. You'll see additional deductions here, like for KW Cares. If you donate to KW Cares, you can add that in. And the other funds as well. I would check in with your market center because different market centers donate to different uh, funds. So just make sure that your office does that. And we're going to come back to the edit item option, all right, because you will see extra payment options here for referrals, bonuses, deductions, and concessions. So we'll come back to that. For now, let's click Save Changes so I can show you how to add in the second agent. All right, so the main thing that you need to know from this is you need to make sure you change the agent unit in order to have the option to add another agent. All right, so now that it's not just, you know, 1.0 all to this agent, it's 0.7 to this agent. So now I'm going to add a second agent here. So see where my mouse is, I clicked add another agent, and I'll get this pop up where I need to start typing in the other agent's name, okay, and it'll pull in any agent in my market center specifically. Okay, so not any KW office, it has to be your market center. You can put in the agent name, start typing, and it should show up in the dropdown, and you can select them. <clears throat> All right, that agent unit updated automatically, right? But that does need to equal one, right? This agent unit for the first agent plus this, the agent unit for the second agent need to equal 1.0, one unit. So that does, so I'm good there. I can click Calculate Commission. It already has that for me. Same concept here, I would see royalty, company commission, all right, she's capped, beautiful. I can donate to KW Cares and add items here further, but for now I'm gonna click Save Changes. Okay, so this is all you would need to do if you are just needing to split a commission among another agent in your office. So again, if you're co-listing the property or you are working with another team member, and you'll see it added in both agents here, Agent 1 and my second agent here, I can see both of their commission amounts. And on the top right, I see a, an overview as well. So a summary of that and what each person is getting as well. Now to take a step further, I'm going to explain, you know, different things you're seeing around your screen that I had questions on. So I've been talking to different MCAs and this does vary depending on your area. So I just really wanna to stress to you guys that while I'm going to tell you in general how this works, each office has their own policy as far as you know submitting for compliance review and how you're getting paid. So make sure, number one, you're checking with your office on their policies on how, you want, how they want you to handle the situation. All right, but in general, this is how it was advised from a bunch of different MCAs around the country. All right, so in this payment section right here, 
Again, that is where we added that second agent. So to now even go further into that, you will see an option to add co-broker payment. All right, and so what that is used for is adding in the agent on the other side. All right, so if, if your office requires you to add the agent on the other side of the transaction, um, so a lot of offices do not require this at all. Uh, if they do, it might be for recruiting purposes. So in general, I wouldn't worry about that unless your office asks you to add that in. Okay, but again, that would be for the agent on the other side of the transaction. All right, so let's go back. Let's talk about a situation that we need to add maybe a bonus, um, an outside referral. Okay, so let's take a look at a few more settings that we can utilize in our commission request before submitting that for review. So now next to each one of my agents here, I'll see edit agent payment. And I can go ahead and click on that. All right, so this is where we were initially, right? Adjusting the unit numbers and the commission amounts. I'm going to scroll down to add an item to see even more items that we can add in. All right, so add an item. And you'll see a drop down here, and this does scroll just a heads up. All right, so I'm just going to take you down and kind of give you an overview of each section here. Um, the bonus, uh, if you receive the bonus on this transaction, you can go ahead and put in that bonus amount here. And you can indicate if you're splitting that with the market center or not. And click add. Okay. So that's how easy it is to add a bonus. Love when that happens. And we'll click add item on the bottom again all right, to show the other items. All right, so we have the option to add a deduction. Um, from what I've been told, the deduction is typically used if it's uh, paying for a home warranty or maybe uh, donating to a local KW Cares fund. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to X out of that. I might have to every time, actually. Um, so after deduction, so I'm just going down this list. So if I lose you, I'm just keeping clicking on add item and going down this list just to explain each item to you. Okay, I know it's just a quick overview, but I just want to give you an idea so you know which items that you'll need to be using. You can jot that down. So inside referral, um, that is not used by all offices. I would check with your MCA before using that. Right, that's typically used if the Rainmaker wants to pay for the team member's company dollar or royalty, um, which is not often. A lot of times teams will pay their own um, associate royalty or company dollar. So check in with your MCA before using this field. Typically, if you're splitting um, a commission in, you know, internally in your office, <clears throat> you'll use the split agent option that I showed you near the beginning of this. So again, a basic overview of this, check with your MCA before using that. And now we get to the big one, which is outside referral. This is a big one that's used, one that you'll definitely need to know. Um, so outside referral, you know, if, if an agent um, in a market center in Michigan refers a client to you down in North Carolina, and now they're closing and you need to pay them a 25% referral fee, for example. All right, so from what I have noticed, and this is as of, what's well, today, July 7th, 2020, right? They, uh, KWRI is constantly launching updates to the system, so um, this is how I found it works best as of today. Uh, I did notice that the amount, I am not able to type in the referral percentage field. I'm not sure if that's just today or my browser or what it may be, but just so you know, for right now, you do have to type that into the amount, so the dollar amount field. So let's say I'm paying, if it's 25%, so the idea is, I'm not sure what I put in for my initial amount. Okay. So let's say uh, the idea is um, if it's a 25% re referral, let's say a 30% referral, calculate that first, like on a calculator, and then manually type in the number here, and then that will update the referral percentage field to reflect that percentage. Okay. Hopefully that's clear. I imagine that eventually they're working on making it so you can just type in a 25 here. 25% and it will update the amount. So that shouldn't be too much longer. But for now, as of July 7th, 2020, just make sure you add the amount first and it will update the referral percentage here. And of course you need their you know tax ID number 
and broker info and so forth. Um, so if you have any questions on that, your MCA will be able to guide you on what they need for your outside referral. All right, but that is a big one that you'll generally need to use. All right, and if you are splitting that among team members, that would need to be updated in each team member's uh, agent payment section. Okay, and if you have any questions on that, please feel free to email us support at scottlavoriemarketing.com. I'd be more than happy to guide you through this. All right, so once I'm done with that, adding in any additional items, I can click Save Changes. But again, that would be done separately under each agent, what we just did, right? Edit agent payment. I have that option by each agent. All right. And once you're ready to submit this for review or submit, submit this to your market center staff, you can go ahead and click the submit button on the very bottom here. You have the option to add a note as well. All right. And, uh, they will let you know what further they need from you as far as documents or items uh, to get your transaction closed. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We're more than happy to help you. Support at scottroymarketing.com. I hope you have a great rest of your day and let us know how we can help.